हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन मेडिजी पी वाई क्यू सीरीज हेयर इन दिस सीरीज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द सब्जेक्ट कंट्रोल सिस्टम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस्कड इन टू थाउजेंड एंड एट दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्कड इन ई सी ब्रांच फर्स्ट हेयर आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट and with respect to the question we are going to mark the answer so let us start the discussion first i want to read the question and with respect to the question whatever be the given information i am going to mark here i am going to highlight here let us read the question first information is nothing but the question is related to step response of the set of 3 second order under dam system okay so the question is related to question is related to question is related to second order system the question is related to second order system and the system is what of under damp response if it is under damp response means definitely our zeta value is in between 0 to 1 like that we can comment upon now come to the next point the next point is the question is related to step response so i am writing the given information that is step response okay so let us continue all have the same percentage overshoot this information is also very important all have the same percentage overshoot what is the formula for percentage overshoot i am writing here percentage overshoot is nothing but e power minus pi zeta divided by under root 1 minus zeta square bracket close multiplied by 100 it means if the percentage overshoot for all the three system if same then definitely their corresponding zeta value will also b same the zeta value will also be same for all now come to the next point which of the following diagram represents the poles of three system so first of all i want to introduce here the standard closed loop second order system standard closed loop second order control system closed loop second order control system here i am going to introduce a closed loop second order system so this is nothing but a summing point this is nothing but a summing point it is nothing but the forward path gain can be represented by gs and here it is nothing but the response cs here is nothing but the input r of s and as it's a negative unity feedback closed loop second order system i must represent the block diagram in this way so what will be the standard transfer function with respect to the closed loop second order control system so it is nothing but cs divided by rs and equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so what will be the characteristics equation the characteristics equation now we can introduce here in this way the characteristics equation is nothing but s square plus s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square is equal to 0 so the roots so the roots of the characteristics equation that is nothing but the pole location of a closed loop control system i can introduce in this way minus zeta omega n plus minus j omega n under root 1 minus zeta square this is nothing but the pole location this is nothing but the pole location if it is nothing but the pole location so i am going to simplify this and i am going to write as 1 2 is equal to minus alpha plus minus j 
omega d where my alpha is nothing but damping coefficient omega d is nothing but what damped frequency so in this way i want to locate now the pole here i am now going to locate the pole here what is the pole as 1 comma 2 is nothing but minus alpha plus minus j omega d okay so here for under damp case so for here under damp case in the s plane i can say it's a complex conjugate location of pole one pole is at this position so another pole is at this position this real part can be marked as minus alpha this imaginary part can be marked as plus j omega d and this negative imaginary axis the minus j omega d we can introduce in this way now the next point i want to say something here i want to say something here this location or we can say the distance can be marked as omega n and this angle is nothing but what phi like that i have introduced the pole location with all the required information so what will be the value of phi you can calculate it will be equal to phi will be equal to cos inverse zeta means what means if means what means if zeta remain constant means if zeta remain constant for all the three system zeta will remain constant for all the three system definitely your phi will also remain constant with respect to the all three system with respect to the all three second order under damp system so in what way we can mark in what way we can mark i am going to introduce here the location of the possibility of the pole here this is nothing but what here this is nothing but what s plane here this is nothing but what s plane if if this is s plane if the zeta for all remain if for all the zeta remain if for all three system zeta remain same then definitely for all this phi will also remain same so i am going to introduce this is nothing but what phi okay so for one system if the pole location is this their cons the, their conjugate complex pair can be represented in this way or i can say by marking a proper line i can say by proper marking a line in this way i can consider this is the one this is the two and this is the third pair okay for all the pair i am considering for all the pair i am considering the same phi like this is the pair of this is the pole location of pair of system number one with respect to the same zeta with respect to the same phi this will be the location of pair of pole location with respect to the system number two with respect to the same zeta with respect to the same phi it can be the location of pair of pole of system number three and all are representing us the under damp system so in this way we have introduced in this way we have introduced so based on this discussion only one option is available that is nothing but c so the answer of this particular question can be c but if the question may be different if the question is not with the condition of same 
परसेंटेज ओवर सूट देन द अदर ऑप्शन इज गोइंग टू बी करेक्ट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू देयर करस्पॉन्डिंग सिचुएशन सो हेयर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंट अवर सोल्यूशन इज कंप्लीटेड बट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू समथिंग आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू लूज दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंट्रोड्यूस फ्यू अदर पॉसिबल केसेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ अल्फा इज कॉन्स्टेंट इफ अल्फा इज कॉन्स्टेंट so what was the equation the equation or we can say the pole location was in this way if alpha was constant so so what this is minus alpha here plus j omega d here minus j omega d is varying like that the a can be answer for this particular case so i am not going to mark here i am just going to introduce for alpha is equal to constant the a is going to be the locus of the pole location now come to the next point if i am considering here if i am consider considering here omega d is constant if i am considering here omega d is constant if omega d is constant under that scenario if the alpha is different then what will happen the imaginary part of all the pole remain same maybe the real part of the system will be changed of the pole location will be changed so with respect to that if you observe this is nothing but plus j omega d this is what minus j omega d remain same all the three system pole location will have same imaginary axis part of the pole location but their corresponding real part of the pole location is different means in this way for satisfying this scenario we can consider the b is going to be correct for that particular case if examiner is going to ask the next i want to discuss something else let us consider the next scenario in the next scenario if omega n is considered to be constant if omega n is considered to be constant and let us consider there is different different zeta of different different systems under that scenario if omega n is constant then what can be the what can be the what can be the pole location here i am going to introduce something here i am going to introduce something in this way i just told you that location of pole and the distance from the pole to the origin remain omega n so if omega n is constant if omega n is constant if omega n is constant then definitely if the zeta is varying the pole may lie in this way as zeta is changing as zeta is changing the pole location is going to change in this way if the zeta is changing the one pole will be in upward direction the another pole will be in downward direction in this way particular value of zeta will result the different different value of pole location so like that we can introduce means what if you are going to observe for this particular location this is nothing but the radius of the circle that is nothing but omega n for this particular system pole location omega n is again same for this particular location omega n is again same but location is different because the zeta is different means if examiner is going to ask something with respect to the omega n constant condition obviously something the answer is looking like option d but here in this particular question examiner has given us the condition same percentage overshoot 
means phi means zeta remain same for all the three system means phi for all the three system remain same so that the pole location is going to be in the way given in option c in this different different locus different different possibilities of pole location different different variety of questions are possible so if we understand the mathematics with respect to the different possible case of pole location we can able to hit any variety of the numerical if examiner is going to ask in the upcoming examination i hope you got the point all the very best for your upcoming gate exam